Joining us now from Washington, CBS News Chief Legal Correspondent Jan Crawford. Jan, good morning. Hi, Maggie. We heard from Eric Holder yesterday saying it's not exactly clear who should be held liable, but he said there's definitely enough to launch a criminal probe here. What does that tell you about who the government is targeting? Oh, well, Maggie, that clearly means BP, which own the well. But there are several other companies that the government could go after as well in this case. The company that leased the well, the company that made this blowout preventer that clearly didn't work, and the company that performed drilling services down there, pouring cement and other things. So not only BP, but several other companies. What must the government show to bring criminal charges against BP? Well, it depends on what kind of laws prosecutors are reviewing. As we just heard in Mark's piece, several environmental laws are now under review against these companies. And there you really don't have to prove very much. The Clean Water Act, the Migratory Bird Act. If a bird gets oily, you can be held liable. But it's those other traditional criminal statutes the attorney general mentioned yesterday where BP and these other companies could run into real problems. That's where you get some of the more serious criminal uh, penalties like obstruction of justice, conspiracy, fraud, if BP or executives made false statements. And several senators already have accused BP of making false statements, not only in getting the permits to, to dig that well, but also in kind of over uh, or underplaying the gravity of the spill. Mm -hmm. Mark mentioned that that could carry serious, uh, hefty financial penalties, but could we also be talking about potential jail time? Well, that's where, again, these kind of obstruction of justice and fraud charges raise serious concerns for BP and its executives. Those are the penalties that would carry. If you lie to the government, you can go to jail if the government proves you made a knowing false misstatement. So, yes, that's the penalties that are quite severe. Jan, I'm wondering if we're only talking about potential federal charges or also in state courts, because as we know, this spill has had a detrimental impact on a number of states now. That's, that's a great question, Maggie. And the way it worked, and I think for, for the best context for all of this, is to think about how the Exxon Valdez spill kind of unfolded. And there, the federal government coordinated its efforts with the state government. Now, it was only one state, of course, Alaska. Uh, but here, because of the so many states involved, I expect that you'll see similar efforts to coordinate this, similar efforts to consolidate all these investigations, and similar efforts to kind of spread out the payments at the end of the day and the fines to the states and the people who are hurt the most. All right, Jan Crawford, always appreciate it. Thank you so much.